Is Allen, Texas the greatest place to live in all of Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas? You'll have to decide, but let me tell you why many, many, many people think that it is, or at least a very strong contender. Allen, Texas sits north of Dallas, Texas, about 25 miles, pretty much due north on the main highway corridor 75 Central Expressway. It's north of Plano, Texas, and it's south of McKinney, Texas. So if you know the area, it's pretty phenomenally located. If you're not familiar with the area and you're thinking about the whole area of Dallas-Fort Worth, you're thinking about the northeast side, not the far, far northeast edge, but it once was the far northeast edge and now is, you know, 30 to 45 minutes from Dallas, potentially longer in bad traffic, but generally speaking, 25 miles north of Dallas, Texas. So a lot going on in Allen, kind of split by that 75 Central Expressway Highway. So you have an east side and a west side, really well known for things like the school system, especially the high school, the high school football team and the high school football stadium for a long time was known as the largest high school football stadium in America is certainly still one of them and has been referred to both positively and negatively because of that and the amount of money spent on it. The high school stadium holds 18,000, which is pretty wild for a high school stadium, even in the state of Texas. But it's known for schools that people are generally drawn to and like and tend to move to the area for. And because of the stadium, you can tell that there's an emphasis on sports, but there's also a great emphasis on academics, and it's a highly regarded area. As a jobs hub, there are some corporate headquarters there, as well as a strategic location to access many other corporate headquarters in Plano, in Dallas, in McKinney, even over in Frisco and certainly beyond. There's also access to the things that you would be looking for in most communities. So you've got healthcare and hospitals nearby, you've got DFW Airport Southwest, and you've got Love Field, mostly due south, slightly west. So you've got a couple of airport options, and then you've got two major shopping areas in the Allen area. You've got a big outlet mall, and you've got another big major shopping area, and you've got a couple of mixed-use development type areas as well. Allen does a really good job with parks and recreation, over a thousand and acres of parks and trails and hike and bike and some mountain biking and things like that. There's also some kind of unique niche deals like a water sports park and training area. Allen really offers quite a bit in the spectrum of outdoor recreation, parks and recreation, outdoor living, and the like. You've got a general feel within the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex that Allen is sort of a neighborhood community, but with its rapid growth over the last 20, 25, even 30 years, you've seen big population boom and some commercial development that's come with that. So lots of restaurants, lots of entertainment options. There's even a professional hockey team in Allen uh, with its own facility in one of the major borders, kind of the northern edge of Allen. Tremendous amounts of shopping on the Allen side and in one neighboring city. You've got a lot going on really on all edges of Allen. You've got lots of entertainment with Top Golf and places like that where you can go and do just about anything as far as movies, bowling, theater, arts, hockey, golf, it's got a lot going on. So Allen, Texas is really thought of within the DFW Metroplex in a lot of ways like Plano and some other neighboring communities were say 20 years ago. It's kind of that next ring out a little bit newer than a lot of the things that are south. In some ways as old as many of those, it's been around since the late 1800s. It was a stop on the rail line. We really kind of went from north of Dallas all the way to Houston and beyond. It's been there for a long time, but a lot of that rapid growth and residential population and therefore kind of dictated some commercial retail growth as well has happened really in the last 25 ish years as of when we're filming this video lots going on in Allen from a landmass it's a pretty good sized city as far as relative to the other surrounding cities again population over 100,000 so a pretty good sized deal if it wasn't sitting in Dallas Fort Worth would still be one of the above average size cities in the state of Texas because it's part of this big, huge, multi-million population of DFW. It is treated as a suburb to the north of Dallas. Lots of great things going on in Allen. I'd like to know what you think 
is the greatest place to live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Let us know down in the comments. And what did we miss about Allen? Obviously, we can't mention every single thing. Can't get, go into a ton of detail here without doing an hours-long video. But let me know in the bottom in the comments, what do you love about Allen, Texas? Or where do you think is the greatest place to live? Or what else would you like to know about Allen, Texas from the perspective of a local real estate team, which is what we do. I'm a broker. I've got a whole team of folks that help people buy and sell in the DFW area. A lot of that in Allen, Texas. Texas, and we'd be thrilled to connect with you here in the comments or offline on a phone call or a Zoom about helping you make a move to the area or from the area or even within the area. If we can help you in Allen, Texas or any other area in the DFW area or beyond, let us know. We'd be thrilled to help you here or introduce you to another great agent or broker elsewhere. Check out the rest of the channel. We got videos on all sorts of other communities in the DFW Metroplex. We'll talk to you on the next one.